Let's pull some strings to supersize your business. Sharon horn Elsham here, and a lot of us these days with COVID-19 are pulling a lot of strings, usually strings on our masks, strings on our shoelaces, strings on lights, strings on anything to hold things together and piece things together so we can keep doing what we're trying to do and moving forward in our lives. Pull strings, of course, is an idiom that's been around since the 1800s. It's actually been around for centuries because for centuries, marionettes or string puppets have been used to entertain groups of people course with string puppets or marionettes the puppeteer is hidden until the end of the show usually when he's introduced and he is moving the puppets by manipulating the strings throughout the show to entertain us well in the late 1800s or around the 1800s maybe it was the middle or the beginning I don't remember it started to become used to apply to people that exert behind the scene pressure or that secretly are controlling other people behind the scenes as if they were puppets sound like politicians anyone anyone uh, sound like uh some business owners sometimes some it sounds like different industries different industries try to manipulate or put forth undue influence or secret influence behind the scenes with politicians and with other people that run our country and, and run our world to get the way get their way get what they want in, you know whether it's in the best interest of other people or not uh, I'm trying to avoid the whole political topic and the issue of um, life life not being fair because life isn't fair but people pulling the scene pulling the strings on other people behind the scenes has become almost so commonplace that we expect it and the truth is we don't have to expect that but we love it when people pull strings and get us certain advantages right as individuals as business owners in our industry we like it when people in our industry lobby for benefits for our industry that's pulling strings we like it when the laws are set up to favor our industry or favor our business in some way shape or form that's a form of pulling strings we on the other hand can pull strings in our business to help supersize and grow our business how can we do that you might be thinking well, some of the ways that we can do that are by helping other people, by giving value, by helping solve their problems, by giving them an incredible experience, by selling them products and services that really improve their lives and make the world a better place, by encouraging people to pull strings, behave in safe and ways that honor themselves and other people, by setting up systems and processes and procedures in our organization that make it easy for people to do the right thing, make it easy for people to do a great job, make it easy for people to help other people and give value and make the world a better place. We can let the people that we serve know that we're here for them, that we support them, we're here to help them, we're here to give them value, we're here to stand by them and champion them in any way, shape or form they need that is, you know, indirect relationship to our business and what we do for people uh, we need to let people know that we're on their side sometimes just supporting somebody in their decisions and their choices and standing up for them or standing by them is all they need in all a way that we can all pull strings we can all help other people by supporting them we can all help other people by communicating with them we can all help other people by giving them value sharing our knowledge sharing our wisdom sharing our expertise you know, I think of this when I think of pulling strings. I recently there was a story in my new in the news my sister told me about because I don't really watch the news, but it was about some parents in Hollywood that were using their influence and their celebrity and their money to buy their children spots in, in preferable schools and in, in different private schools and different activities. And they got in trouble. And I believe some of them might even have uh, not only gotten fined but had some type of you know criminal charges or jail type judge charges brought against them for fraud and to me that's an example of pulling strings and undue influence used a little gone a little too far and in a negative way but you know how many of us wouldn't do just about anything we could to help and support our kids I know I would I it breaks my heart when there's something going on with one of my kids so pulling strings have you had strings pulled for you I definitely have had strings pulled for me I've had people introduce me to other people that have helped me to open up to and be uh, afford me or my one of my businesses an opportunity that I might not otherwise have even known about um, and I I like to think that I have mentored and coached and pulled strings for a lot of other people as well uh, so love to know your experience with pulling strings any kind of pulling strings 
and how that's impacted your business or your ability to grow and build your business. Have an absolutely amazing day. I will be with you tomorrow with another interesting idiom. What does it mean? Where does it come from? And how might you use it to grow and build your business right now? Take care.